can fly won't take you to the stars. Use the metal for a boat and you won't sail too far. Stop sitting in the dark, stirring metal clouds about. You will change your life forever when you figure out. The secret pin code, 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 What am I to do? What am I to do? There's food all around me. I'll put on a kilo or two. So, residents, you're starving, I bet. Okay, we'll get you fed now. <laughs> <laughs> That turbulence knocked me sideways. What on earth was that? Huh! Residents, are you okay? Now, where were we? Huh. <laughs> well, I never. Well, what's going on with me? <laughs> and who am I now? <laughs> <gasps> Daco. A curious side effect. This is very odd indeed. Are you up to your funny business again, Mr. Experimenters? It seems like the anomaly isn't only spreading from the epicenter. Yeah, yeah. This is because of the gender multiplication in the homology. But of course, hence the simplicial environmental distortion of... Now, if the parameters are... Uh, stop with the nerd babble! And just tell me what's going on normally. My friend, it all began as a perfectly safe experiment to study parallel realities. But now we ourselves are parallel to our reality. Nobody can see us, and nobody can hear us. The experiment can be stopped with one click of this button. See for yourself. What are you doing? I haven't even fed resonance yet. It's useless. In our current state, we can't have any effects on our material objects. Just have a look at it. Apparently, this unique device from the future is able to make contact with parallel realities. Phenomenal! Compression! Now, at least, we can write messages to get help. But who will read it? We're the only ones. Resonance. Huh? How are you there in our reality, then? And with no one to feed you? Resonance! Can you hear me? It's amazing that your pet stayed in the same state. Most likely, his glass aquarium saved him from the radiation. Ah! This worm will rescue us! You just need to give him a sign to press the button, can you? And it won't hurt him? It's not so simple, my resourceful friends. A sign that is obvious to us may be completely incomprehensible to the worm. Our whole culture, all human communication, is built around signs. When we hear the word giraffe, we immediately imagine an animal with spotted skin and a very long neck. The word giraffe is a sign signifying this very animal. 
The letter G with which the word giraffe begins is also a sign, and this means the sound G. When a motorist sees a red circle with a white rectangle in the middle, he realizes that this is a sign for stop and that he cannot go any further. This is also a sign. We are surrounded by a phenomenal number of different signs and symbols. Not surprisingly, there is also a special science that helps sort out these signs. It's called semiotics, from the Greek word semion, a sign. So in semiotics, it is customary to separate signs into... Why are you overcomplicating everything with your silliness? I'll just write something for little resonance myself. Hey, no big deal. Well, let's see how it's going to work out for you. Right then. Okay, my sweet little buddy. I remember you when you were still very little. You were always sharp and clever, just like me. There was never any task that was too... Every time I think back on those days, it warms my heart. <laughs> so the point is, in order for us to be together, you have to press the darn button. I'm pretty sure that you can, uh, er, do it. Take care, you're Barry. Hey. <laughs> How could you? Resonance! I could have foreseen this response reaction, and I'm going to explain why. The most extensive class of signs are character signs. Their values are the result of an agreement within a group of people. So, a group of people agreeing among themselves that this is the sign means the sound F, and for example, this sign means the number 5. Our words are also symbolic symbols. At the same time, different people designate the same thing with different signs and symbols. What we call a cat, the French call "cha," the Italians call gatto, and in German, katze. At this point, someone has agreed. Even numbers can be expressed in different ways. For example, the number five can be denoted by an Arabic numeral, a Roman numeral, a combination of digits and binary code, five dots, and many more words meaning five in many different languages. In this case, the symbols themselves are nothing more than ordinary scribbles that do not have any natural meaning. Therefore, their meaning is not there to be understood by an animal, which we can see in the example of your pet. Hmm, now it's not so easy, is it? So now what are we gonna do? And I... Hey, I've got it! All we need is just a much simpler sign. Huh? Oh. Uh-oh. We're doomed. We'll be okay, but who's gonna feed resonance now? All is not lost. We just need an icon sign. If you would stop interrupting, I can finally explain. Another group of signs are index signs. Index means pointer. The index sign is the reason for what it means. For example, we see smoke and understand somewhere the fire is burning. Smoke is the index of fire. The temperature of 38 and 5, or the rash on the skin, is the index of the disease. A knock at the door is an index of someone's desire to enter the room. A lot of talking is an index of taco. Okay, okay, I'm nearly done. The last class of signs is the icon signs. They're somewhat similar to their objects, and it's because of this similarity that they fulfill their role of what they symbolize. Icons on the desktop of a computer are just such signs. For example, the sign print shows a printer, and the sign sound shows a speaker. But sometimes this relationship between the sign and the object begins to weaken. The sign save on most computer programs depicts a floppy disk, a storage medium for information that was used 10 to 15 years ago. 
children these days won't remember it, so the sign icon gradually turns into a symbol symbol. And now, the most suitable icon in this case will be... Come on, Resonance! That's it! Yeah, yeah! Come on, Wami! You can do it! Come on, you little crawler! Come on! Semiotics never let anyone down! Hooray! 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 <sighs> Go on, son! Don't be afraid! Oh, and a little! Nothing to it! Don't stop there! Go ahead and press it! Attention! Damage to the flight stabilization system. Uh, well, I thought so. Yeah. So you see, semiotics is a great science and ever so useful. Yeah, yeah. Semiotics. They're good. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I just can't understand. If we could touch that ball and move it, why didn't we just hit the button with it? <laughs> I don't get it. Yeah. Uh -huh. We'll have to assume that this was also assigned to some extent to all of us. <laughs> <laughs> 